Hello from Vietnam. I'm Victoria, product designer, digital nomad, and AR creator, and welcome to my creative hub, where we will share about AR, VR, some tech, uh, some creative stuff with uh, 3D, and of course my favorite tutorials uh, and whatever comes to my mind. So stick around, subscribe, and uh, let's uh, create fun things together. Okay, for this video I decided to create with you a virtual space where you can gather with friends, uh, make it your personal gallery to present your art, uh, juice of fashion for example, 3D or whatever you want. At work uh, I designed such uh, places for digital fashion uh, virtual events and uh, contests uh, and it was really fun and engaging, I didn't expect it this. Uh, because you can communicate with the other people there, uh, react on some jokes, uh, you can dance there, uh, or set, uh, send emojis, uh, so it's really fun. And good news for you, you don't need to know how to code. To have PhD in design or be Kung Fu Panda in 3D, it's super easy, like a piece of cake. So let's get started create our virtual space. First of all, open spatial.io. It's a platform to explore world, create characters, play games, and to meet new people. Sign up or log in. There are several options for it. Click the button Create Space and choose one of the various ready to use spaces, which you can customize, change the color, and fill with any 2D and 3D objects. Ok, let's choose this one. Now we have the space. It's huge and empty, let's fill it with crazy stuff. By the way, you can change your avatar, just click on the profile image, choose from what you have, or as I did, edit it in Ready Play Me. Most of the spaces have such frames to place your art, photos or videos. When you create space, you have a plus icon from where you will select all the objects for the arranging. For now we click upload and uh, I will select an object that I prepared in advance. I have an upcoming friend's birthday, so it was an obvious choice of the space theme decoration. To delete default objects, first unlock them and then replace them with yours. When you select an object, there are a few sliders that help you to place the object in the right place, rotate and scale it. At first try it feels a bit confusing, but after a few attempts you get used to it. Three hours later. Alright, I've got those balloons looking spot on now. Time to spice things up a bit more. As I mentioned, in the Add Plus button you can choose objects and special has a library of 3D items. They are split into stuff and furniture sections that were picked out this sofa. You can duplicate objects and lock them to prevent them from moving while you are placing other things. That's something I really recommend. When adding objects from their library, you don't need to worry about file size and format. However, if you are looking to find or create 3D objects, there are some details you should take into account. I'll discuss them a bit later. The third option to find 3D furniture and decorations just simply connect to Sketchfab, the most popular 3D library. Click to connect your Sketchfab, then accept authorization, then if you want, disconnect anytime, and after click refresh and get a library with a ton of amazing 3D, right in the spatial. Now I'll find a present box decoration. Also it's important to note that when you add objects from spatial library, you can see the object size. This means that you won't be able to optimize your space for faster loading. But if you are searching for items directly on Sketchfire platform, keep an eye out for a couple of things to get lighter 3D models. The number of triangles and when clicking to download, you can choose the texture sizes of GLB files. Less is better for achieving faster loading time and running smoother on web, mobile and VR. And the coolest part, you can upload not only static objects, but also animated ones. Take a look at this adorable animated bear I found. And it's time to add music. 
In advance, I prepared a video with a playful song and I'm going to add it to the frame on the wall. Be aware of the file size. Remember, less is better. In the frame you can see some controls, not so many, but still some essential ones, where you can control volume and enable a repeat of the music. And that's not all. In Spatial you can travel from one space to another using portals. You can create different theme places and make portals to them. Or choose one of the games or places from Spatial list. Play them as other objects for traveling, just click on them. Finally, I'm done setting everything up, putting stuff just the way I want it. Now let's take a look at the final result. You can share your space with friends by sending links or invitations. Also, you can make it public, that everyone can visit and see your artworks, for example. By the way, there is a handy option. The color of the space can be changed anytime. So go ahead and give your vote for the color and drop a comment about which color I should choose. I'm curious to know what you prefer. All set and ready, let's kick off the party! Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you find it helpful or entertaining, don't forget to give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on the future content. Remember, your support is the driving force behind this channel. I'm genuinely grateful for each and every one of you. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video!